all we say to America is be true to what you said on paper. Somewhere I read of the freedom of speech. Somewhere I read that the greatness of America is the right to protest far right. It's essential that our intelligence community know who our enemies are talking to, what they're saying, and what they're planning. Some people uh, took advantage, I think, of 9-11 to bend the law, to break the law, and to, to recraft the law, to trample on the rights of, of American citizens. After 9-11, the intelligence budget doubled. They're using us because we're suckers to make the Constitution oppression ready for all Americans. And it's ready now. The FBI's tendency to focus on minority communities and political dissenters is by no means a new development. COINTELPRO was the counterintelligence program that the FBI had in place in the 1950s, 60s, and 70s. They conducted a program that targeted groups like uh, anti-war protesters of the women's liberation movement and others. The most egregious was Dr. Martin Luther King, who, who was subject to intensive investigation and, and, and many of these dirty tricks that the church committee that later investigated this program uh, found that these dirty tricks were, were designed not to protect the national security, but to disrupt marriages, to uh, prevent people from uh, engaging in First Amendment protected activities, and to suppress speech. In 2008, the FBI infiltrated a series of First Amendment groups in Minneapolis that were organizing during the Republican National Convention. Two years later, in fall 2010, the FBI raided dozens of peace activists in Chicago and Minneapolis, dragged these individuals before secret grand juries, seized all of their computer records, and they've never been charged with any crimes. The groups, the, the, the Women Against Military Madness, for instance, 25 year long established peace group, is on a chart and it's on a, ch a link analysis that the, the Department of Homeland Security prepared in the summer of 2008, connecting everybody guilt by association. And it's, you look at it, there's nothing there. It's just fabricated out of whole cloth. You know, you do step aside and circle around in a, a uh, uh, a mournful, prayerful way for five minutes. And so Catholic workers, uh, friends, that is Quakers, uh, people who are devoted to peacemaking, who are nonviolent people in the, in the tradition of Mahatma Gandhi, Martin Luther King Jr., those people should be protected. Those people should be put on a pedestal uh, rather than be followed around and having their, their phones tapped standards for identifying and categorizing potential bad guys are not nearly precise enough. And we go back to examples like the Thomas Merton Center. Those people are not the enemy. <laughs> they are citizens of the United States exercising their First Amendment rights. The Bill of Rights are really the concretization of our freedom. The Patriot Act makes, makes a travesty of many of those rights. When a government is trying to find out what you're reading, that is fundamentally Orwellian. People say that uh, you know they don't mind the government spying because they're not doing anything wrong, but what we learned from those investigations that the Church and Pike Committees conducted back in the 1970s was that there were people who were doing nothing wrong and yet were harmed, were prevented from getting jobs, uh, all because of this secret surveillance and collected this information that the FBI was misusing uh, to harm people who really had absolutely done nothing wrong and yet were merely expressing opinions that the government didn't like. We've seen the FBI misusing the authorities that have been given to them and overstepping their boundaries. If you give the government the ability to collect bulk communications, what does that really mean? It means the government doesn't know who they're looking for. When we give this, the FBI this sort of unchecked power that they've been given under the Patriot Act, under the 
FISA Amendments Act and, and under uh, the revised Attorney General guidelines that it is actually innocent people that are being harmed by these programs. We should demand better of our law enforcement and our intelligence services than that. Congress has the opportunity in another piece of proposed legislation, the Justice Act, to not only fix Patriot, but also to address abuses under the FISA Amendments Act of 2008. For more information about domestic surveillance or the Patriot Act or the Justice Act, visit us online at www.bordc.org, Bill of Rights Defense Committee.org.